So, this just in. A leaked slide from AMD's Ryzen 7 7800X 3D review guide shows a 21-game benchmark comparison to the i9-13900K. While it is a first-party benchmark, it is still interesting to see such a wide range of games tested. By the way, we should see independent reviews go live in the next few days or so, as the 7800X3D officially launches on April 6th. But let's take a look at the benchmarks, shall we? In this slide, AMD claims that the 7800X3D is on average 7% faster than the 13900K. However, I have a feeling that with a wider pool of samples, the performance gap will shrink. Still, it is amazing to see that a $450 8-core CPU competes so well with a $570 i9, while offering much better power efficiency. Keep in mind that the 13900K also requires a bigger cooler, so there is another money-saving option available right there if you decide to go with a smaller, cheaper cooler paired with the 7800X3D. Now let's have a look at some of the benchmarks individually. It is sad to see that 7800X3D is actually not as good as 13900K in competitive games such as CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege. It is also 4% behind in Cyberpunk 2077. 7800X3D is 5% faster in Hitman 3, 8% faster in Far Cry 6, and from here we are actually seeing some good performance increases. In Dirt 5, 13% faster, and 18% faster in F1 2021. Dota 2 players will also be very happy to see that 7800X3D is 19% faster. Lastly, Horizon Zero Dawn is a good example of how 3D vCache technology can be a significant benefit in specific workloads. In this case, the 7800X3D is 31% faster than the 13900K. I am very much looking forward to the day when the 7800X3D drops to $400 or lower. At that point, it will be an incredibly good deal for a gaming-focused PC build. What do you think about this new AMD CPU? Will you be buying it on April 6th? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.